Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I am back to work with the Walmart Pen and Gear Daily Planners. I mentioned previously possibly using these in a pocket rings planner. This is a pocket rings from Print Pression. So I'm gonna experiment with adding one of these notebooks into the pocket rings. And you all left so many comments with so many ideas on how you would use the daily planners. Everything for using them as a health or symptoms tracker, for tracking food and weight, gratitude, expenses, and it's pretty much just limitless. Anything that you would keep track of daily, you could use these daily planners. We also did a spread and I showed the actual layout in these planners. Let's take another quick look at what the layout is like. These are passport size, so they're three and a half by five, which is about a quarter of an inch taller and a quarter of an inch wider than the typical pocket rings insert. This will work in a pocket rings really well. Now you could just tuck a notebook into the back of the pocket rings, which I showed in, a preview, in the previous video, or you could just trim off the binding, punch them, and add them in like you would any ring planner insert. So let's go ahead and trim down one of the notebooks so that you can see how they work in the pocket rings. So I'm gonna use this cutting mat from the Dollar Tree. I have my Tim Holtz ruler. I'll be using the side with the metal bar and I will be using a box cutter from Home Depot. I guess I'll do this one since I pulled it out. Now what you need to do is line up your ruler on the spine and not too close because you have to remember that there is page creep, meaning the width of the page pushes the pages on the inside in the middle forward. So you have to make sure you catch those too. Now you could just open this up and cut down the middle. If you find the center, cut down the middle because it is stitched and that would release the stitching, but your pages would be different widths because if you look at it here, when it's open, they're different widths. So cutting it with it folded will give you pages that are basically the same width. So I'm not gonna get too close to the edge because I wanna make sure that I cut those middle pages as well. Just make sure it's straight, light strokes. Don't try to cut through the whole thing at one time. Make sure you apply pressure to the ruler, not too much because you don't want it to slide. It would probably benefit you by using a metal ruler with a cork backing. I do have one, but it's so long. It's easier for me in this space to work with the Tim Holtz ruler. Okay, so we cut off the binding. Now it's up to you whether you wanna keep and use these covers as dashboards. I am not going to do that, but I will hold on to them and keep them in the box. So this is just a little piece that we cut off, okay? Check in the center to make sure we cut everything and we did. So that is how you do it. Then I have a hole punch here. I think that I got this on eBay many, many years ago, but they do sell the adjustable, it's adjustable. So you can move the uh, mechanism around. They do sell these on Amazon. I'll link to one in the description box below if you wanna check it out. All right, so the next thing you would do is just go ahead and punch these and add them in. I cut a little bit too much here. <laughs> I almost cut off Sunday. So you might wanna cut a little less than I did. I think it's only like the first couple of pages that are like that. Yeah, I cut too much. So cut a little less. You gotta be careful with that part. But anywho, I am not really gonna be using that part of it if um, I would just be covering that up anyway. And I'll show you an example in a moment. But this also has little, um, guides here to show you how to line up your paper and punch. Now you can't punch too many pages at once. And also keep in mind, these are not a true pocket rings. I think it's A7 size. It's not a true A7. So you kind of have to make sure you're as centered as can be with these. And this is a whole month of daily pages. And I'm only doing like two or three pages at a time because 
this is an old punch and I think it's a little bit dull and I don't want to push my luck. All right, so I'd already done one of the notebooks and I'd also put in the clear dividers from Print Pression. So the cover is from Print Pression, so are these clear dividers. So this is the notebook that we worked in in the previous video. This is the spread. You can see kind of punched where my stickers were, but now that I've punched them and put them in here, I know where not to put the stickers. And yes, the uh, punches end up in your boxes, but I don't think that's really an issue because of the way the boxes are. Um, this is, let's find the back page. All right. So this is where I did the pen test. Again, it kind of punched through where I wrote because I wrote so close to the edge. But if you want to see the pen test, check out the other video. I'll link to it in the iCar up above and it will be in the description box below. So the clear dividers uh, from Print Pression, it included four tab dividers and a page lift. I put the page lift here in the back. Let's start from the back. This is a Filofax, uh, I think it's business card pocket that I probably got on Amazon. If I did, I'll link it below. This is a zipper pocket, again, Filofax. And these are printables available, pretty sure they're available to Scrap Craftastic patrons. I'm gonna use this for size comparison. So this is three and a quarter by four and three quarters, which is pocket ring size in inches. Okay, so let's do a comparison. So you can see, hopefully you can see the difference there. Now we cut off a bit of the width, so it's almost the exact same width. However, the height is truly a quarter of an inch taller. So hopefully you can see that, but it's so close. I mean, the difference is negligible right it's not that big of a deal so that's just for notes this is a dashboard from simply me kish um and i've had it for a long time i, I reduced the size and laminated it so i kind of shopped my stash to start setting this up and then this again is the notebook that we worked in previously so that's a whole month I'm gonna pop this month in here, like so. So we got two whole months in there. I also have brought over my Ollie clip and I have this pocket here, like a little dashboard pocket from Print Pression that I'm going to add. Let's poke out all of these little holes. And I did show the uh, dividers a little bit in the previous video. They do come with a protective cover on them. They are actually clear, they are not frosted, so. So there's that. Now let me show you this. So this pocket rings I use around Christmas. So I pull this out. The cover is from MLG and Co. I have dividers in here, little bits and pieces that I created myself. There are videos on the channel showing how to do this. I'll try to find everything and link it below. But this is just an example on some of the things you can do. These tabs here are laminated vellum and it gives you a frosted tab divider look. There's a cut file available in the shop on my website at Scrap Craftastic for this size and several other sizes if you would like to make your own tab dividers. And there are also uh, top tab dividers as well. Let me see if I can show you an example. So this is another notebook from MLG and Co. These are the top tab dividers. These haven't been laminated, but that's what they look like, okay, for the pocket rings. So there are options that are budget friendly and I'm all about the budget friendly and the DIY. Okay, so I also have these dashboards uh, from Let's Get Plan. This was originally a half letter size or A5 size and I reduced it down using a proportion calculator 
on a website. I will link to that in the description box below. Basically what you do is put the original size of whatever you're using and then put in either the width or the height of what you want for the new size and it will give you the percentage that you can then add in Adobe to reduce to that percentage. So I think this was like 60 something percent. I can't remember if you would like me to do a video showing how to do that because you can do that with any dashboard, any digital that you're using. If you would like to see a video on how to do it, let me know in the comments and I will do that. From Let's Get Plan, I also have the digital guided journal. This was originally, I think, classic size and I reduced it and printed four per page, hoping that this would be the right size. I'm gonna trim it down and see what I get. And then I will show you what it looks like, but it comes with a dashboard. You have lots of dot grid space, a monthly calendar. This is mind, body, soul, and action notes for that. And then you have a weekly page uh, for the AM check-in, PM check-in, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I'm gonna um, go through and put all of this together. Then I also have the June digitals um, and passport size that are available to Scrap Craftastic Patron Elite and Unlimited. It comes in horizontal and vertical. I think I'm gonna use the vertical. So I'm gonna put the horizontal aside. I'm gonna use the vertical. I printed this on 32 pound paper. I'll link to the paper that I like in the description box below. This comes with the full month of inserts. So you get the monthly and the weeklies. So there's a monthly calendar here. Um, there, there it is. <laughs> monthly calendar and weekly. So I can trim that up and add that. I also created using some of the freebie. Let's turn this over so you can. Uh, is this one blank on the back? Yeah. All right. So I also printed some of the freebie dashboards that are available in the Scrap Craftastic Facebook group. And then these are member dashboards that were available to channel members, the Craft Lab Techs, that's the YouTube channel members. These are no longer available, but every month I release a new digital that is available for that month. So on the first, there will be a new digital coming out for Craft Lab Techs. So I'm gonna trim these down and see about adding at least one of these into the notebook to use as a dashboard. I also printed them on vellum just to see maybe I might want to use that as well. We'll see. And this is printable acetate, printable vellum. And I just use inkjet printers. So, and I can, it's really about the paper and the settings that you use as far as the quality that you get. Okay, so let me go ahead and trim everything up, get it punched and put it into the planner and then we will come back and see what everything looks like. Okay, everything is cut, punched and ready to go. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more of the setup. I need something more heavyweight for my dashboard in the front but I don't know what that will be yet. I think this will end up being July. So I'm gonna put that there. This was from uh, Valentine's Day, but I'm gonna put it right here with the mermaids. I will be doing something for mermaids. I need to get that done before the month ends, but yeah, sorry for the glare. All right, since we have that dashboard there, I probably should have put these back to back and laminated them, but I can always do them again. And I think I need to trim them down even more, but I think eventually they will be laminated. Let's put this one here. That was for back to school, <laughs> but I think it works well here. I think I like the acetates better than uh, the cardstock. Yeah, so I'm going to take the card stocks out and use them later after they've been laminated. And I'll just use this one here. Okay. All right, 
so we got a little decoration going on then let's put this June here so we got the title page the monthly the weeklies and then we got the dailies and I can always just change this out or not even just ignore that page and keep going because there's only 30 days in June, even though I did use one of the notes pages. I'll figure it out. So that is a very basic setup, very simple. I can come back and put labels on my tabs. Okay, and these are the inserts from Let's Get Planned. Of course, I reduced them, printed four to a page this is not ideal. This is not what I wanted. So I'm going to have to figure out another way to use these for pocket size. Again, these were originally classic size. I'm not really thrilled with them being reduced like this. So I think I'm not going to use this for now until I come up with another solution. I'm sure there's a way to make it work. I just got to figure it out. These will make a very nice planner and you don't have to do all the extra things that I did. It's just that I like everything, you know, fancied up a little bit. So, yeah, you can add your tabs, which I can come back and do once I get more months in here. So I could add monthly tabs to these. This is less than six dollars. It will take you through the whole year. Very budget friendly. I would say this is definitely planning on a budget. I like them. The paper quality is good. As you saw with the pen test, you can use them a number of different ways. So even if you wanted to have an extra uh, notebook and you wanted to use this for something else, so you don't want to use it for the 12 month option, these do slide into this back pocket. That fits in there just like that. You could put one in the front pocket also. Just a plethora of things that you can do with this. Let me take this one out. Again, really budget friendly, easy to work with. They also work in a passport size traveler's notebook. They could also work in a uh, pocket size traveler's notebook. If you have any suggestions on things you would like to see me add to this, let me know in the comments below. If I do any plan, actual plan with me videos in this, they will be on my new channel dedicated to only plan with me videos. It is at Scrap Craftastic PWM. The link will be in the description box below. I'll put it in the iCard up above also. Make sure you come over, check it out, subscribe, and join me over there. Now, as far as the Dollar Tree Planner goes, I do have all of the May stickers ready to go to do the weeklies in the Dollar Tree Planner. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see the Dollar Tree Planner on this channel or the other channel. Eventually, I definitely want to put all the plan with me's on the other channel, but the Dollar Tree Planner is a special case since it will be given away at the end of the year. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on that. So that is it for the undated daily planners from Walmart's Pen and Gear and adding them to a pocket rings. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and you may be interested in this other video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.